Hey Collective, welcome to my channel, Divinely True Tarot. I am your reader, Renetta. And Collective, I want to introduce my new deck that I have made. Well, revamped, I will say. This is Little Big Baby, okay? Little Baby Bear for short. And um, it's, 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 it's a beautiful deck. Um, tell the truth like Big Baby or and tell the real like Little, uh, 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 not Little Baby, um, BB. Well, little baby too, but little baby, he's still little, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to see what messages that Holy Spirit is going to bring through little big baby when it comes to the person that you are in separation with, okay, collective? So, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, so hold it on to you. Your person didn't know what they had when they had you, okay? They didn't know what they had with you, connected, so they holding on. Okay, let's see. What else, what else can you tell us? Let's get a couple of more shuffles, okay? X, your X is holding on to you, or that could be your first, last, middle initial, if anybody. Xavier, Alexander, Alex. Yeah, that's what I heard, Alex. Oh, this could be your twin. X, ooh. This twin blocked. Oh, 11, 11. Yeah, this twin is blocked. Okay. But they still holding on to you. Damn. <clears throat> we have MX. First, last, middle, initial. I'm here. Mary, Mar Mary Martha. We have V. Victor. Vanessa. Valerie. <clears throat> One more. Karmic debt is being paid in full. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what message do you have for the collectors regarding the person that they are in separation with? Let's see. Mm. Okay. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, little BB shoot. <clears throat> oh, goodness. My husband, somebody trying to mess with my throat chakra. They don't want me to say something or they don't want to talk about something. Uh -huh. It's being revealed. Okay. That's just the one. Oh, that is way too many. <laughs> but I will take the first two. I know there's something in there, but I ain't taking all of them. Let's get a few more and see. I'll take it. Let's get one more. Thank you. All right. At the bottom of the deck, ooh, your person fumbled the love you have for them. Mm-hmm, and they know it. Okay. And they know it. Damn. Your person is stuck with the third party. June, something could happen in June. This could be your twin. Okay, somebody's name could be June. Something like that. Stuck with an ex-lover. Or this could be your ex-lover. Go get big baby. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, <laughs> little BB. You said go get big baby. All right. Yeah. Somebody you ghosted or somebody that ghosted you. Mm, this is a divine lesson that's being learned. 999. Damn, they said go get BB. Look it. Oh, let me tell you something. Little baby, this is the second video. Little baby, like, uh-uh, go get my brothers and sisters. Cause uh-uh, go get my siblings. Cause it's some shit that I gotta tell you. And they can say a little bit better. That's what I heard. Everybody laughing at them because they stuck with the third party. <coughs> you go to this person, that's <laughs> That's a divine lesson learned. Or you learned the divine lesson. This is how come you ghosted your person. This is how come they became an ex-lover. This is a divine counterpart here, okay? That divine counterpart that fumbles your love. <clears throat> we have F, first, last, middle, initial. They gave the love that they were supposed to give to you. They gave them a toxic love. So the love that they have for you, they gave it to this toxic love here, okay? Now they're feeling like a clown, a whole fool. Damn, we have H, first, last, middle, initial. All right, something could be happening in January. Ooh, your ancestors set that shit down. In January, this coming January or last January, 
Yep, because your person thought that they could replace you. Uh-uh, but luck is on your side. 777, seven, seven. yes, because you are an earth angel, high fiber. This is your destiny, baby. This is the reason why your person got caught cheating. All right? The beauty spell that, caught, that caused your person to cheat is broken. 444, four, four, you're being highly protected. Okay, why? Because you went to Abba. Your person needs to go to Abba too as well. W, first, last, middle, initial. We have July. Yeah, your person fell for the bullshit with an ex, with an ex-lover. I'm telling you, they trying to break away from this motherfucker, okay? They could be doing that in February, okay? Why? Because that ex-lover slept around with friends. This could be your person that's an ex-lover that could have slept around with friends and you're breaking away from them in February, January, something like that because they fumbled your love, okay? All right, well then, let's go ahead and get big baby. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. They said go get Big Brother. All right, well, let's get a few out of Big Baby. Let's see. Oh, shit, I see why. I see why they said go get Big Baby. Shit, the ancestors are here. Woo. Woo. <laughs> yeah, cut off. The ancestors cut this shit off because now they stuck with the third party. So the ancestors, yeah, they set their person's ass down. <laughs> with that third party. Now you're stuck in this shit. Ooh. And it's over. Yeah. Damn. Let's get some more shuffles. We could be dealing with an Aries here. Okay. Emperor energy here. This could be you and your person or this third party. Who knows? Let's see. Let's get one more shuffle, baby. One more shuffle. Wow. Ooh, we have this is not over with this Aries, or this is how this Aries, this emperor is feeling that this is not over, but the ancestors is here. I think you might want to pipe down. Hell yeah, shit, this divine lesson will be learned today is what I heard. <laughs> F around and find out if you want to. Oh, mm, shit, okay. All right, big baby, what do you have? Oh, oh, I'm not taking, oh, I'm taking that, living red free in their head. This is you, Collective, because they're losing everything. Okay. They're living with freedom, freedom your person's head. Mm. Let's see. Let's get a couple of more. Thank you. And I'll take that one. Yeah. Trusted the wrong people. Your person trusted the wrong people. That's a part of that divine lace and them shady friends. Your person trusted these wrong people that are shady friends. And this is why you're living rent-free in, in their head, Collective. You could have told your person about these old dusty-ass, shady-ass friends they had that they were trusting. Uh-huh, now they stuck with them motherfuckers. Okay, so this could be a group of people. Yeah, Earth Angel. Again, you are an Earth Angel, baby. And this is a divine lesson that will be learned to die. Woo, shit. Child, let me go ahead and do it like this. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Let me, let me see if I can get it to where y'all can see in the camera. Okay. All right, thank you, my love. I appreciate that. Yeah, so... The person stuck with this ex-lover. Uh -huh. Thank you for the confirmation. Any bells, whistles, car horns, dog barks, or anything on my end or your end, that is confirmation of what I'm saying. Okay. Well, now everybody laughing at him and shit. What BB got to say? I know she got something to say. We have round two. They paying for it. Okay. So we had this in the other reading. Let's see. Baby, what what else, what do you have to say? Damn, they had it all wrong. Your person stuck with this third party, and they had it all wrong. So your person could have thought this third party was <laughs> going to be the end all to be all. Yep, now their feelings is all on the floor because they totally devastated. They thought they was winning with this third party, and they had it all wrong. Now their feelings is all on the floor. Total devastation, okay? <laughs> they over here wishing they didn't do that. Let's go. Total devastation with this ex-lover they had all wrong. Now they stuck over there. Well, let's see. Shit. Let's, come on, little baby. Shit. It's a family affair today. Okay. So they could have a family with this ex-lover. That is just, it's total. whatever they thought that they was having planned. Mm-mm. 
It's, it's a wrap. Nine nine is here. It's over. That cycle is over. And they suffering losses. They took an L with this one. What can you tell me about um, stuff with a third party then? She said they had it all wrong. They thought they had it right. They thought they were winning, collector. Damn. Now everybody laughing at them. These shady ass friends is laughing at your person that they trusted. Or that your person trusted. What can you tell me about stuff with this third party? We have decide now. I wish lost. They lost. <laughs> they wish they would have lost out. They wish they would have made the decision to lose out on this third party. Okay. Yeah. They would. They could have been wishing to be with this third party. Now they lost. Yep. It was a mistake, baby. They out of time now. They stuck with the third party, and they over here mad, mad. Damn. Okay. Damn. What can you say about this ex lover then? What about this ex-lover that they stuck with? Or this could be your ex-lover that stuck with this third party. Who knows? What can you tell me about this ex-lover? Choice in love, temperance, spirit is talking, holidays. So, your person here made a choice in love with this ex-lover. Or whatever choice they made, they became your ex-lover here. But they want this Sagittarius energy. They want temperance. They want balance, okay? They're being very, very patient here. Spirit is talking to your person, especially around the holidays, about the choices that they made. Or they need to move away from a choice that they made. Okay. What's this? Yeah, because it was too young or something was done too fast, too early. Something like that. Too soon. They could have went into this connection with this third party too soon. What can you tell me about ghosted? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about ghosted? Thank you. Pissed off. Woo! Somebody pissed off they got ghosted. This Aquarius or somebody, you know, they pissed off because shit. They talking shit. They keep on talking shit. Willingly, okay? Because they pissed off at an Aquarius or pissed off because somebody healed or want to heal, okay? Or they ghosted them because they want to heal. Yeah, it could be healing a twin flame connection here. They had to ghost this third party here. Yeah, wrap that cycle up, shit. They thought they was winning, but they had it all wrong. Uh-huh, because, shit, they went through something that was totally devastating. This is a tower moment for your person. And this is a divine lesson that is going to be learned. They're going to learn today about trusting the wrong people, these shady-ass friends. They laughing at them. Damn. Holy Spirit, what can you tell you about divine lesson learned? Low vibes, uh-huh, that they have to let go of these low vibe and shady, shady ass friends, okay? Low vibes, the lessons learned that they were low vibing when they let go of this divine union. Now, most high God is here, yep. Ooh, I heard they never consulted, okay? Never get out. They've been kicked off the journey. They got kicked out of this happy home. Get out of this happy home never to return is what I heard the low the most high God said because your person is over here low vibing and ain't learning the lessons that they need to learn right now. They had to let go of this divine union. Damn. Because they, shit. Because they made the wrong choices what I'm hearing. What can you tell me about trusting the wrong people? What can you tell me about trusting the wrong people? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, they want to move away. Libra season. Or they could be a Libra. Yeah, they quit. They don't <laughs> they they out. They ain't fucking with these low vibe and shady ass friends no more that they trusted. Hell no. Justice is here. Libra energy. Yeah. They just they ghosted these these other people because they've been warned. These shady ass friends. Your person been warned about these shady ass friends. That they were wondering about if they were shady. Shit, they getting proof in the pudding now. Okay, that's a divine lesson that's being learned. Okay, what can you tell me about living rent free? Ooh, sorry, not sorry. It's just too much. Okay, so they were sorry, not sorry. Fucking trusting these low vibing, shitty ass friends. They were sorry, not sorry about it. Now you living all in their head about how they didn't even give a fuck. Okay, and it's just too much. They didn't care at all. It's too much to them to handle the fact that you don't care. Uh, or for some of you guys, your person, this is how much they didn't care. A lot too much. Now you living in their head. Shit, checkmate got them. That's because the most high got their foot on their neck. Your ancestors and your spirit guys do too. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. Getting that ass whooped. What can you tell me about these shady ass friends? What can you tell me about these shady ass friends? 
Wishing and hoping, okay? Wishing and hoping what? Too young, okay? They wishing and hoping that they could have dumped these shitty ass friends sooner. Other people and friends. Yeah, it's too many people here. What the fuck? Yes. It's way too many people here. What they hoping and wishing for? What they hoping and wishing for, Holy Spirit? Huh? What they hoping and wishing for? Let's see. Thank you. The ghost is, see, they was hoping and wishing that they could have ghosted them, cut them off sooner. This is art, okay? Now they stress and pressure be with family issues. They wish they would have cut these shitty ass friends off sooner. Now they got them caught up. Caught up in bullshit. Caught up in a mistake. They stuck with the third party. Okay, so whatever they caught up in, they stuck. What can you tell me about total devastation? What can you tell me about total devastation, Holy Spirit? Jealousy. Help me. Your person won't help. Okay? They help. Who help no more. They don't want to do this no more. There's no way out of this. But there is no more help coming to your person that's in total devastation. They're jealous about that. Help me no more. It's because you don't help them no more. They're jealous now. Now they need your help because, shit, tower moment is here. Hell yeah. And they sitting here wondering. They got left wondering. Karma. Some of them wondering if it's their karma for playing mind games. Yeah. And for not caring. Okay? They want this shit to stop. And they want to heal. and they Because they worried that you over here loving on yourself and that's it. Uh-huh. Your person thought they was winning. Why? Shit, arrogance, Aries. This big Aries here. Mm -hmm. They thought they was winning with an Aries. But that's not the one angel message. They got the message. They ain't going to win with this third party they stuck with. Nope. Mm-mm. Damn. They had it all wrong. What they have all wrong? Holy Spirit, what they have all wrong? The spirit is talking. I'm hearing intuition. Yeah, not now. They wasn't listening to it now. Okay, there's no... For they want forgiveness for the secret lover or having a secret lover, yes. But not now. They still going through the lessons of it. Yeah, big... Because they, <laughs> they want this big happy home with you. Yeah, because they coming to, through some type of awakening. Mm-hmm. Big fat ass, yes. Yep. Just do it. They want to they wanna come home is what I heard. Okay, they want forgiveness for the secret lover that they had, that, but they stuck with it. They know it's a mistake. They wish they didn't do it. They ran out of time. They they took too long. Yeah, liar. They didn't stop lying. To yourself, to this third party, to you. Okay, now they're in hermit energy from this other woman that is envious and jealous of you, collector. They ain't fucking with this other woman. They don't want that. Okay, shit. They over here wishing they didn't do that. They wish they didn't... Uh, didn't do that, and they wish they didn't give a fly, a fly and fuck. They wish they didn't do that, okay? They wish they would have gave a fly and fuck. Put it that way. <laughs> well, you know, that's what happens when you come to an awakening of your bullshit. Okay? Holy Spirit, intimacy, bonding, they want to come, yeah, holding a poker face, abundance, bliss and happiness. So, it's like you're, you're, <laughs> You're stopping yourself from even coming into the connection with your person. This is for some of you guys. Yeah, <clears throat> it's time to heal. So you could be going through your healing journey as well. And now your person want to come back around and get healed from you. And it's like, damn, you still want some energy? Didn't you take all that shit over there? That's what I'm getting. Yeah, and that karmic relationship, now they want to heal from that shit? But shit, you got to go to God for that, baby. Uh-uh. They trying to come back around to you, collectors, so they can get some of your healing energy. So they can heal too. Yep, twin flying. They want to heal this. They want to go no, they, they want to come out of no contact. Yep, they want to come out of no contact. On divine timing is here. They starting to believe that. They feeling like it's time. It's time to come out of no contact with you. Yeah, to heal the connection with you. Okay. All right. Well, what can you tell me about the... Um, the collector's person in this third party. We have magnetic attraction. So somebody could still be attracted to this third party. This enemy, yeah, this third party. They still attracted to your person. They still have a magnetic attraction to your person here. And they sitting over here worried and anxiety about some type of separation. 
about your person getting back out there dating again, okay? This third party shit. They, they worried about the separation because your person is missing you. They want to come and date you. Happy home. They want to come home. Now, this could be your physical home or this could be the home that or you feel like home. The home within self. You make them feel whole. And being around your energies, that's what it is. This ex-lover here is being inspired by you to reconcile with you collective. Yeah, some of them want to seduce you. What can you tell me? <clears throat> but worry and anxiety. So this is what your person want to do with you. And for others, this is what the third party want to do for your person. They want to seduce them. They want to reconcile with them. They want them to come home. Okay. Yeah. But something changed within this friend circle. Change of friends. Okay. Agonizing pain. So they're not friends no more is what I'm getting. They can't influence your person anymore. No. They said, why they worry? Why is this third party worried? They worried about them reconciling and rebuilding with you. Yeah, worried about being blocked. Okay, that's their fear. So they're keeping tabs on your person because your person cut ties. They cut ties because they love you unconditionally or they want unconditional love. Love, I can't make it up. They're not getting it from this third party. They know where love is at and they're coming to get it. And that went way over there. I'm not getting up. <laughs> Y'all see that fly way over there. Uh-uh. No, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Seduction in the reverse and death. Yeah, this third party cannot seduce your person because it's over. No second chances. And they still keeping tabs on your person. Okay? This third party is still keeping tabs on your person. Trying to see if they're going to come and rebuild love with you. Okay? Yeah, love and meeting. Yeah, because they got ghosted. Yeah, they worried about if they're going to come and meet up with you because they got ghosted. They got cut off. They got dumped by your person. They could, I heard they're keeping tabs on you and your person. Are they trying to? Yeah, they trying to, but I don't think they can or it's not that easy. Yeah, something happened unexpected. Now they're at a crossroads. This could be your person because there's some type of unresolved situation they could have with this third party or with you, but they're sitting at a crossroads because things change. What changed all of a sudden? What changed all of a sudden? Uh, this uh, third party other woman that's codependent, okay? Knowing damn well that they miss you, they sorry. So this third party done changed. This snake, they done chose their true colors here, Okay? They lost over you. They obsessing over you. The Cupid's arrow, twin flame. I can't make it up, collector. That's what changed. They sorry. <clears throat> this, this third party, this woman is still addicted to your person. That shit changed. Or your person being addicted to this other woman, codependent, obsessive with this other woman. That shit changed. Shit, they sorry that they, that they did that. Yeah, your twin. Wow. Okay, so what's going on between the collective and their person? What's going on? Okay. Let me switch decks. All right. What's going on between balance when I picked up the deck? Okay. Split the deck, king of water. Very emotional. Somebody is in control of their emotions, too. I heard emotional in intelligence. They want to present their love to you. Okay. What's going on between the collective and their person? What's going on? Let's put it on the table between the collective and their person. Let's see. <laughs> I feel like not much. We have confidence and growth. So somebody is confident that this connection between you two could grow. Once they ground themselves, they want to take root. They want to start over. Or these are being, yeah, things are being grounded for you two to start over. Yeah, six of earth. To be fair and balanced here. Yeah, page of earth. Some type of offer. Good news is coming in. And here we go with balance. Balancing the connection out. Not only within... You too, but within your guys' selves individually. Okay, that balance within self is bringing balance within the connections with you. It's like magnetic, magnetically or energetically pulling you two together because of the balance within self. Awakening. Okay, hangman energy. So something is a little delayed here. It's in the air, yeah, because some type of backstab or betrayal here. 
something had to end so it can't get no worse than this so somebody's looking at this type of this betrayal or something that happened in something that ended harshly that happened they're looking at it from a different perspective or this is you again balance i split the deck is balance is bringing balance within the connection with you a sapphire brand new passionate beginning here okay it could be a challenge because that wand is in a in a horizontal position that's a challenge for me okay a challenge to have this brand new beginning with you okay all right so what else is coming in for the collector let's see it's an air truth and understanding about how somebody feel or love yeah this is a truthful conversation heart to heart conversation is what i'm getting especially about a lie somebody gotta come <laughs> they dragging this lie gotta tell you the truth okay <laughs> they gotta tell you the truth yeah transformation that it's almost like they 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 had to change from the inside out in order for them to bring you this truth that they need in order to clear the air with you king of air and the king of cups with balance here so somebody's you know mental and emotional is being balanced here they have control over that is what i'm getting somebody grew up to the king's status of their emotions and in their thoughts that's beautiful what they have to say how to speak from the heart how to come bring you this truth about this lie ten of swords ace of air yeah this betrayal they're looking at this connection from a different perspective mm-hmm the will of fortune is here. This is destined. Okay, things moving forward. Nine of water, yes. They want this, okay? They want to... The wishes is being fulfilled. Even It's almost making me feel like collective. If you wanted an explanation or understanding as to why things went down the way it went down with your person, especially your twin or your divine counterpart, they're going to come bring you this truth. Dragging and kicking and scream, screaming with this lie that they have within them. That they have to come and clear this up with you. Okay, so it's like they're dreading that fact, but they're being mature about what they have to do. But they don't want to, but they, you know, the will of fortune is here. So it's like they're being driven to do so. Yeah, if they want things to turn in their favor, if they want that will to turn, they have to bring you the truth. That's too many, Holy Spirit. Let's get a, a couple of more. What else can you tell me about this, the connection between the collective and their person? Thank you. Okay, I'm not going to take these. It's a lot. At the bottom of the deck, we have purification. I have purification of mind, body, and soul. Okay, six of water. I mean, excuse me, six of air. I almost said six of water. So it could have been six cups, feeling nostalgic and stuff. But they want to move forward. They're being divinely guided to. Okay, renewed hope to move forward, move on with you. Okay, here we have the lovers in the tent of fire. Okay, so what I'm getting is this... I wanted to pick it up in the reverse, but I it ended up picking up in the upright. But I said I wanted to go in the reverse, okay? So somebody that made a, a choice or a decision in love, I mean, they're very burdened by it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of responsibility. It's like they, somebody just gave up on this this decision or the decision that they made in love. They want to give up. they tired. They don't want to do this anymore. They want to move forward with you, okay? Because this decision that they made and the love that they have with you is it, it's, it's burdensome. It's burdening them. It's weighing them down. They want to pierce themselves. They want to purify themselves from the burdens that they have caused because of the decisions that they made in love. Yeah. And the decision that they made, it was it was uh, it was something that was devastating. It was uh, somebody backstabbed you. They betrayed you here. We have the page of fire. So they want to talk to you. <coughs> Three of Cups and justice so this is in the three of air so somebody want to talk to you about a three of swords or three, three of cups energy or what happened with a third party situation they're preparing for this okay because of the justice being here you know they prepare to take whatever it is that is going to come from them telling you the truth or wanting to clear the air or clear this this i want to say separation or mend the separation or clear the air so they can mend the separation with you okay let's get a couple of more before i wrap it up holy spirit okay <laughs> i'll take them justice again the high priestess with the death and transformation tower moments in the cups baby this is going to happen this is divinely guided somebody also too is not speaking somebody is very very high ranking in the spiritual realm they have a lot of love and support from the most high and the angels they cause this um tower to come in because of a family dynamic or somebody is causing a tower in order for them to change and transform their family dynamic and have ultimate happiness with this Ten of Cups here. Okay? Yeah. 
you're going to get some type of communication about this. But somebody also, too, is, um, they know why. They know why this tower has to come in in order for them to bring happiness within themselves or be balanced in their emotions. This tower had to fall. And that, that brought the change and the transformation within self in order for them to move over. I mean, move over. <laughs> Oops, move forward, okay? Yeah, they came to the realization that they needed a life change. They needed to be free from something, free from the bullshit. Yeah, that's why they dragging the truth, Ace of Air, Ace of Swords. Yeah, but they know that this will bring them emotional fulfillment, balance in their emotions here. You know, it's almost like cutting away guilt or just, you know, freeing themselves from guilt that they had with this Ten of Swords energy, something that they did that was just diabolical is what I'm hearing. We have Ten Ten here with the world. So, you know, things had to shift and change and close out and transform in order for your, you and your person to be free to move forward from this hurt, this pain, this, this deception. This is that breaking free that your person is doing. And it's because you did. Collective. Your person is following your lead energetically, spiritually, emotionally. And it's about to get physical. They're going to follow you, okay? So be expecting some type of contact um, if they can. Um, if not, it feels like this is going to be a fate. It's going to be a stroke of fate for y'all two to come back into some type of um, connection or the presence of each other, okay? All right, Earth Angels, High Vibers, this is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please, please, please drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.